how you doing? It's your girl Jalissa. How's it going? Mm -hmm. If you're new to my channel, welcome. A little hug for you, okay? If you're a returning viewer, what's going on, my G? You already know what time it is, all right? So today we're going to do a pick a card reading. Make sure to focus on the crystals. Make sure you pick the proper pile for you. I don't want to hear no crying afterwards, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, Um. all jokes aside, this resonates with you. Please like share subscribe to my channel leave me a comment down below i live for the tea all right and i write back to everybody so if you want a private reading the information is down below in the description i'll see you there too we become homies okay we'll figure it out together <laughs> let's get into this i'm done hi lovely souls i hope you guys are blessed i hope you are good okay i'm coming to y'all with a pick a card reading this one is no contact if you're in no contact with your person what's going on what are they feeling what are they thinking etc right so this is pile one this is pile two this is pile three okay so i'll give you a close-up pile one oof i love my new crystals child don't know how to act all right pile two they all mad pretty so good luck pile three just like really focus <clears throat> pause the video really focus on the crystals the decks, which one's calling you, and then you go to where you're being called, okay? All right, I'll see you there. Timestamps are down below, as per the usual. Thanks. Hey, Pile One, what's up? What's going on? Welcome to your pile. Ew. All right, first, we're gonna start with something new. So cool. I got these dope ass gold dice, right? So, we're gonna start with your angel number. This is a number that you could Google and figure out what it means. But this is a message for you from the angels, okay? So let's see. So we have 45, 61. All right, so 45, 61. Write it down, figure it out. I don't know, should I write it down? Yeah, just write it down, all right? And that's your angel number. Go check it out, okay? There's a message for you from spirit there. So let's get into it. I have tarot and I have oracle cards to identify your no contact situation. All right, so we're gonna do this new thing as well. This is gonna be the overall, the overall energy between you and your person, the past, the future, the present, the past, your person's feeling, how you're coming at this person, how this person plans to come at you and then your feelings okay and then we have the oracle cards which let me just flip them over and we'll get into that as well and then i'm gonna have like an extended reading like we're gonna go deeper into this if you want more information that link is gonna be down below okay these cards are pretty big so i'm just finding space and then also i have here some messages from your person all right so we'll reveal the messages at the end all right so let's see your feelings all right your feelings we have the knight of pentacles in reverse so you may be feeling a little bit pissed right now right right by, right my power ones you you mad why you mad <laughs> you mad out here you you're not feeling this let me see if i zoom out a little bit just so you can see the cards oh i can't zoom out more than this that's it all right there yeah there so you could like actually like see you know see the cards a little better down here all right so yeah you mad right now okay your feelings are like frustrated angry you feeling like you want to smack somebody right the situation isn't going how you want it to go this situation really pisses you off it makes you upset all right um let's see how your person is feeling your person is feeling like the six of pentacles in reverse your person is feeling like this is very one-sided they feel like they're struggling like on their end you know like the way they feel like it's one-sided is like in their eyes they feel like they're struggling like this is not so much of a struggle for you but more of a struggle for them like it's more of a complicated situation for them they're they're scared of some type of debt um they're really just thinking about themselves right now like that's how they're feeling right now in regards to the situation like they're really just in their emotional bag like they're not 
you know we're gonna get into what's what and i'll tell you more about how your person feels but that's like the the feeling that they're feeling right now how your person is coming towards you wow <laughs> the knight of wands in reverse all right so your person feels very first of all first of all your person is also very upset okay <laughs> why because they can't have you all right because they're sexually frustrated they feel sexually frustrated they feel like they really want to be intimate with you um they're very impulsive right now so if your person pops out the blue don't be surprised okay because they're very impulsive they're like in and out in and out like you wouldn't even you wouldn't you would be surprised how many times this person almost messaged you or almost contacted you because they're really like that it's like hot cold hot cold i want to i don't i want to i don't i need to but come on what but what about this you know like so they're really fighting themselves right now but that's how they're coming your way they're coming as very sexually frustrated okay so if they reach out which i feel like they will um that's how they're gonna reach out because they're feeling sexually frustrated okay and how are you coming towards this person you're coming towards this person like in a way where you're just like listen babe all right i really like you i don't want to move on from this situation i feel like i can't move on from this situation i haven't felt this way for anyone else but you you know not saying that's exactly what you're saying but i'm just saying the vibe like you're gonna come towards this person as a I can't move on from this i haven't felt like this for someone else okay so now we're gonna go oh i'm sorry i have this little tripod so let me see hold on i gotta see okay it's perfect all right and first of all let me just say something i gotta open up the window because the energy here is ridiculous like your person is so frustrated in the sex field like it's ridiculous okay <laughs> they really want you they really thinking about you okay all right so the past your person had a huge ego in the past all right your person may have acted out like i'm all that in a bag of potato chips and your person could have a good position in life um or at least be admired by people like they're very outgoing um they're very um like they like to be leaders they're leaders they're not followers this person is someone that people look up to because they're go-getters all right and this person in the past was really in their ego this could have been your energy a little bit as well like in your ego like just really like listening to your thoughts instead of your heart right so presently right now your person feels like they need to balance. They're, they're trying to balance this situation. They want to see how they could balance money and love, how they could balance. And this could be a third party situation as well, because I, I take the two of Pentacles as my third party kind of card where it's like, who's who are we going to take this one or that one? Like there's like an option to make trying to balance what's going on. All right. But it doesn't have to necessarily be. But I'm just throwing it out there. So right now, your person is really trying to juggle what they're going to do. Like they're they're working on their funds, they're working on their money, they're ambitious for sure. They're very ambitious. Like um, in the past, your person could have been very immature and probably didn't express exactly how they felt in their heart space for you because they had too much pride, or they were they were definitely scared of how you were gonna react or how you were gonna feel kind of like the strings attached type thing so anyway um right now they're trying to balance themselves and the situation they're trying to see how they could find balance here in the future you could expect definitely this person's coming back all right but you could expect this person to be a little sneaky all right this person's gonna come back and it's gonna be like you're not gonna expect it they're gonna be very sneaky about it it's gonna be like like um yeah like they're gonna want to sneak to see you it's like a sneaky energy like it's not like people are gonna know that they're gonna be with you right away or that you guys are gonna be together right away it's gonna be like this person's gonna want to sneak back into your life and like really start things behind the scenes before bringing them to light right this person definitely if they left you walked away you know um i could see that they definitely did uh, that's what i feel but if they did or you did, however it goes, this person didn't leave with the intentions of not coming back. They knew they were coming back. They felt it in their heart space, but their ego didn't let you know why they were doing what they were doing. They were just really hurt 
and they decided to take their way all right what to overly expect like overall what to expect from this situation we got the death card so this is a good card this is transformation this is basically cutting the bad and starting over fresh you could expect major change all right beautiful just be careful with your person when they come back because i do see your person coming back but when they come back they're gonna be sneaky all right <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like tiptoeing their way back into your world because they they know they messed up in the past over here in their emperor ego okay <laughs> all right so um your oracle cards your person is like really really fiending all right especially sexually like sexually they miss you they miss you they miss you or they want you they want to rip your clothes off okay that's that's the energy all right they want to like earthquake or earthquake romantic sex okay like just tear up the whole room with you like it's been a minute and i miss you and i need it hello they're yearning for you okay longing for someone undesired separation pining yeah so your person is just like i want to kiss you i want to touch you i want to hug you i miss you <laughs> that's how they feel like i miss you they're really thinking about you sexually yep that's how they're coming too they're coming with that intent, like, I want my person, like, I miss my person, you know what I'm saying? Your person has fallen. They didn't know, like, what I feel is, like, this person knew that they had strong feelings for you, but they didn't know that they were this deep, all right? They have fallen for you, all right? And this is, like, very unknown for this person. It feels very strange, very new. Not saying that this person never felt love before, but the way they're falling for you, Pa One, is just like, it's tremendous. It's, it's a lot, all right? The unknown. Um, there's gonna be change. Like, this is really unknown for your person. This is gonna cause a major change, all right? So something in the past definitely happened here. Like I said, in the past, this person had was in their ego. You know, this person wasn't really expressing how they felt for you. Like, things weren't really open and clear. So there's going to be some type of forgiveness here, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So you guys will be experiencing more love, more passion, for a fact, <laughs> um, in the future, okay? And loneliness, I know that I am never alone, all right? So this person is feeling very lonely, even though they feel you, and this is like a 5D feel, like they feel you in, your, in their dreams, they feel you when they reminisce about you, when they daydream about you, but they're hella lonely right now, all right? They're feeling lonely without you. Aw. Yeah, your person is like, please have faith in the process they're, they their faith right now is tremendous they do feel like you're their soulmate all right they do feel like they're that you're their soulmate i gotta throw it out there okay and it says have faith in the process so they're really praying that they could come back to you that you guys will be back together like they're praying hard all right because they really miss you they really want to have sex <laughs> <laughs> it's not just because of that though like this is major we got two major arcanas here like this is like a major energy a major vibe this person really does have feelings for you they have fallen in love with you and i feel like this person didn't expect to fall in love the way they did for you okay part one All right we'll see so what does your person want to say to you i am going to surprise you all right so they're looking to surprise you and i feel like that's with the, the seven of swords energy like they're gonna sneak back and surprise you you're not even gonna see it coming it's gonna be like what damn linda damn charlie where you came from okay i guess <laughs> i left because i didn't know how to express my feelings all right so like this person pulled away this person left you and i i I could see that they left you like partly ghost you or probably just that one word and bounced and disappeared in the wind. But like, it's because they didn't know how to express their feelings for you. They didn't know how you were going to react to their feelings or they just felt like you wouldn't respect their feelings. So they left, right? I want to go away with you. Yeah, this person wants to go away with you, all right? Because <laughs> they want these vibes. <laughs> okay they want to go away because they want to be with you alone they want to have you alone for a couple of days okay <laughs> all right your person says 
There's nowhere in the world I'd rather be than with you next to me. So wherever this person's at right now, whatever this person is doing right now, like their desire is literally to be with you. They want to be with you. Like there's nowhere else they would rather be right now than with you. I'm scared you will not take me back. All right. So this person is scared that you will not take them back. All right. I'm scared you won't take me back. They feel like it's been some time since you guys haven't spoke, since you guys have, haven't been um, together, and they're just afraid that it won't happen. All right? But there's going to be a major change here, a major shift, and I don't think you guys see it coming. I don't even know if they know it's coming. It's going to be very like, like that because they're really yearning for you. They're really missing you, Pa One. They really are. And they really want to be with you. All right. All right. So it's going to get loud. So if you have headphones on, you might want to lower the volume. Okay. Here we go. There is an answer to the spiritual guys. Please tell me channel the messages. What Chinese are for Tom 1? What Chinese are for Tom 1? All right. All right. So, Pawan, remember, if you guys want to meet me at the extended, you're more than welcome to. Um, the link is going to be down below. Okay? So, let's get into the cards first, and then we'll get into the um, the initials. All right, so we have the Queen of Wands. Regardless of your sex, whether you're female or male, it doesn't matter. Um, in tarot and energy, there is no sex. Okay? you guys are also very passionate you guys could be very spiritual like you guys could have some type of spiritual abilities i see that very strongly um but you're also very passionate about this person and you're also yearning for your person so you guys are like mirroring each other right now in regards to how you feel and what's going on okay so let's get into oh we have another card we have another card what is it what is it what is it Oh my gosh, we got the Ten of Cups. Okay, so the major change that's coming is like super happiness. Happiness, fulfillment, joy, the house, the car, the kids, the doggy, the cat, all that, the whole nine, the bunch of sex. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's all coming, okay? Oh wow, that's so beautiful. All right, so let's see, let's see. Initials. We have you as in unicorn, Ulysses. We have P as in Peter, Patricia, Patrick, Purdy. We have R as in Robert, Renardo, Richard, Veronica. Oh, wait, Veronica's with a V. Sorry, I take that back. Maybe there's a Veronica watching this, though. Um, One more for R. robin i don't know whatever okay <laughs> we got a heart so definitely love is coming your way pal one we have a g here so g for george gary um yeah that's what i'm channeling right now george and gary all right um oh, we have another letter we have b b as in brandon brian Bernard, where, where did that come from? Bernice, um, Brittany, Brandy. We have N, N as in Nancy, N as in Nando. We have X, this may be your X for sure. Exalina. We have D, D as in David, D as in Doug, D as in donald yeah we have another another card here hold on what card is here let's see we have the nine of cups wow this is a wish fulfillment for your person like your person feels like you are a wish fulfillment they feel like um you are it all right we have s S as in Samantha, S as in Sam, S as in Scott, S as in Samuel, S as in, um, Smith. 
All right, we have K. K as in Kevin, K as in Ka um, Catherine with a K. <laughs> K as in um, Cassandra. And K as in Kiss. Because this person wants to kiss you. <laughs> we have G, G as in George, Gary. Um, that's all I got right now. All right. <clears throat> oh, this sage is going to kill me. Oh, relax, Linda. Sheesh. All right, so let's see. So we have the key here. So you definitely have the key to this person's heart, like for sure, big time. Okay, something significant is going to happen in the fall for you guys. This person feels like this will last forever. Like this is not anything that's short-lived. It's going to last forever. We have the... Hold on. We have the little birdie, so love is definitely coming your way, all right? We have the clover, so luck is definitely on your side. Let's see what else. It takes a big heart to teach little minds. So this means, like, you guys may have, like, a big, big old heart. And, like, you, you may have a very um, excited inner child, right? Like you're, like, you're a big kid. But people don't understand you, maybe. You know what I mean? Or people just don't understand your spiritual path. And it's all good. Like, whatever. Deuces. Move along. All right? This situation was made with love, for sure. So you or your person could be a Libra. And you guys, they feel like you're very charming. You or your person could be a Virgo. And they feel that you're very practical, you're very smart, okay? Your person has lots of hope for this situation to come back together. They feel like you're very graceful, like you're, there's like a lots of grace in your personality. She believes she could, so she did, all right? So pa once, you, could be, you believe whatever you want, you know? And whatever you believe, you could do. Every journey starts with one step. All right, so it only takes one step to get you where you want to go. You got to make that one step. <laughs> we got the little bunny. What I said, like this person is <laughs> wants to go around. <laughs> the energetic bunny. <laughs> Keep going and going and <laughs> going. <laughs> we got the star here. So the divine is definitely here. They're actually manifesting whatever wishes you have been praying for. Nice. We are all mad here. So like I said, my pal ones, you guys may be spiritual. You guys may think differently from other people. And that's, it's all good. It's all cool. You know what I mean? Because you are special. You, you're not the sheep. You're a leader, right? So this is why people think like you're different or whatever. And you feel like you have to teach little minds because you're different. And it's all good. We're all mad here. I'm with you. Okay? So... <laughs> Um, your person may be scared to like touch you right now. All right, we got the cactus, so they feel like you're beautiful. You're you're something great to have. You survived during like tough situations. You're a tough cookie, but right now they feel like you're not touchable. Like they feel like if they do touch you, they will get spiked with your little thorns. <laughs> my pal ones, there's a fork here, so you may be making a decision, my pal ones, which way to go. I don't know which way to go. You're at the fork of the road. Think wisely. Choose with your heart. Love and peace. Love and peace, all right? Love and peace is coming your way. Whoa. I love you to the moon and back. Aw. Your person loves you to the moon and back. All right? Live, laugh, love. You can have this in your home or your person can, but definitely spirit same. Listen, Linda. Listen, Charlie. What's up, Samantha? Live, laugh, love, okay? The moon is here with the angel and the crown. So this is definitely the divine saying they're present, they're here. And things are about to happen and you don't see them coming. The love between mother and daughter is forever. Vice versa if you're male. The love between son and mother is forever, Okay. Weakness is a choice, pal one. Don't be weak out here in these streets. You got this. We got it twice. All right, so you guys are definitely spiritual. Definitely spiritual, pal. All right, my pal ones, welcome to the club. All right, so listen. Don't be worrying about what people got to say about you or feel about you, however it goes. This is your life. This is your journey and no one else's. 
they just live in your world this is your world so don't focus on what people feel what people think or what people may be, may feel about you even in this connection if you get with this person or whatever you know this could have been a scenario here where there was a lot of people involved and judging but who cares right because as long as y'all happy it's y'all against the world bonnie and Clyde, you heard <laughs> well anyway i don't know i feel like i needed to say that so um guys that's all please like share subscribe to my channel i love you guys i live the tea and um also if you want to meet me in the extended to see what's going to happen in the situation further you're more than welcome to the link will be down below okay all right <laughs> bye hey Pantu, what's up with you <laughs> let's get into it let's see what's going on here First and foremost, I would like to give you your angel numbers, all right? So these are numbers that I'm going to give you. I'm not writing them down. This is for you to take down if you want to. You can replay the video however it goes. Um, and Google them because there are messages there from the angels for you. So you put the number and then you put angel number. All right, so what is Paltu's angel number? All right, so we have 51, 53, 51, 53, okay? wow okay so let's see what the energies are we have oracle cards we're gonna see the past the present the future what your person feels what you feel how your person's coming for you how you're coming towards your person um energy wise and we have the oracle cards let's get into oracle cards oh very soon okay so also i'm gonna have an extended reading if you want to know more like what's what to expect from this connection in the near future like more information we're gonna do an extended that information is gonna be down below in the description the link for it okay oh wow okay all right and these are messages from your person which will display at the end all right so let's get into it wow so far just looking at the oracle cards like a lot of positivity all right but let's get into the tarot how you're coming towards your person all right as the knight of wands in reverse <laughs> uh this is what you feel right now you sexually frustrated part two okay <laughs> you're feeling a little bit upset you're sexually frustrated when it comes to your person you want them i totally feel you i got you i feel you um but yeah that's your energy and then your person's energy, wow, the the Knight of Swords in reverse. I cannot deal. Y'all over here rushing, okay? So you definitely want to come, emotionally, you want to come towards your person, like, pretty fast, right? So does your person. But your person is feeling right now, like, a little bit, like, they're very angry right now. I'm not going to hold you, okay? Your person is a little bit upset right now. They're, they're a little bit chaotic, all right? This energy is like, be careful, okay? So how does your person feel? Okay, they're feeling like the page of pentacles. All right, so they're feeling right now like um, they're focusing on their money. They want to give you a gift. They want to speak to you. They definitely do. They feel grounded in regards to speaking to you. So you could expect to speak to your person very soon. Because this person definitely wants to speak to you. They want to get something off their mind. They feel like they need to give you a gift of some sort. All right. So how are you coming towards your person? You're coming as a temperance. All right. So you're coming with balance. You're coming with like, listen, I know what happened here. I know what's going on. I know what I want. You're very sure of yourself. Okay. You're coming through to your person with patience with with the energy of wanting to compromise balance and healing so you're in a very good energy your person's in a good energy as well is not as developed as yours they're a page so it's kind of like you know they they still have a little bit of growing up to do emotionally but this person does want to give you some type of gifts all right let's see what happened here in the past the present and what's going to happen in the future okay okay so in the past, you guys may have felt like you guys may have bumped into each other or met each other and you may have felt instantly like this situation was faded. Like you felt like it was like um 
like it was like you felt very lucky to meet this person like it was like whoa like this is destiny like this it was this felt like very meant to be all right you felt very fresh very new you felt like you wanted to have progress with this person right this person also felt this about you and um in the present right now we have the eight of wands in reverse so there's an energy of being frustrated right now from both parties like you and your person you both feel frustrated right now there's some type of delays there may be a separation of distance like you may live far from each other or you just can't see each other right now maybe due to the quarantine situation but you guys both feel this frustration okay and then in the future we have the ten of swords in reverse which is like super good okay this means that like um you guys may have taken a break or you guys may have um parted ways but it's more like a taking a break not a break up all right so you're gonna feel like in the future there's gonna be more freedom towards this connection you're gonna feel like taking a break from it you're gonna feel like all right i'm gonna step back i'm gonna let this person figure their stuff out um let's see let's take it to the oracle let's take it to the tarot why is your person feeling like this let's see why they're feeling like the um knight of swords in reverse i'm just curious wow we got the <laughs> the knight of pentacles <laughs> just flew out all right so spirit why is the knight of swords here why does this person feel this way all right we got two cards all right we got justice in reverse and we got the seven of swords in reverse and then we have the ace of cups in reverse which is basically like they feel very disappointed that you guys are not talking and they're very depressed right now okay so with justice in reverse like your person feels like they haven't been honest with you all right they feel like they haven't been honest with you your person feels like they haven't been fair with you they may be going through some type of legal problem but that's for some not for all um and the also why they feel like kind of like upset and they feel the way they feel is also because they have the seven of swords here in reverse so they feel like they were caught doing something that caught not being honest about their feelings caught not being true and because they were caught in this they feel like um they're being punished or like like you're staying away from them or something of that nature but they do want to they do want to mend this they do want to like mend it and bring it back together so like yeah all right so in the future let's see why the ten of swords is in reverse why you're taking a break all right because you want freedom you know you want to light, lighten up the load but let's see why is the ten of swords in reverse here why is the ten of swords in reverse here Because there's some type of confusion. So, oh, and we got death here, which means major change. There's going to be a major change here, pal two. There's like, you're going to take a break because you're like confused. You're like, I don't know what to do. Your person, this is what your person feels. Like there's going to be a break because they don't know what to do. They don't know what to choose. Their feelings for you are very strong. Especially with the Wheel of Fortune in the past. Yeah, they, they feel this is faded. They feel like this is real. This is like, this is a spiritual connection. All right, but that's the future. And then the overall vibe here is a seven of wands in reverse. So this is like feeling weak, feeling like giving up because you don't feel like you have enough energy. Like you've put in a big fight for this connection and just feeling like, all right, it is what it is. Like, like taking a break like because you're just like i don't know i don't know what to do i don't know which way to go this is like it feels faded it feels great it feels fresh it feels like i want this person but why is this you know why are we not on the same page right but spirit said that you need to look at the bigger picture okay there's a need to look at the bigger picture sagittarius and you need to trust yourself all right you guys may be very like adventurous like warriors like you guys are not pushovers i could see that for a fact um and a lot of people really admire you 
your person feels that a lot of people admire you they feel like a lot of people look up to you like you're very blessed you're very connected to the universe you're very connected to nature that's what your person feels your person does want to um investigate i'm gonna be honest they feel like they need to investigate this connection they want to they want to know it's real all right they're looking very closely they're asking questions they're thinking before they're acting so they're very like is it true is this what i really feel is this really what it is you know this could be your energy as well okay but your person is definitely watching you from afar and they're wondering what's going on with you like they're investigating you okay and something crazy good is gonna happen very soon you just need to decide what you want all right decide what you want because it's coming abundance is coming all right so do not limit yourself do not feel like you will not be like i said you guys are powerful people a lot of people look up to you all right you you may have a large following you may be in the spotlight however it goes you know what i mean like there's a lot of abundance here in your future so keep a positive mind all right your person is falling in love with you all right and this is a divine connection this is a soulmate connection could be even a twin flame connection okay kissing the divine in another in yourself this person feels like you are them and they are you if that makes sense you know what i'm saying like they really feel like this is a highly like a, a high a highly guided relationship like this is like from the gods you know like this is not just anything this is like real deal love like you don't come past this any day of the week that's why in the past you know the wheel of fortune is here like it was faded like you guys were meant to meet you guys were meant to like kindle you know and get into your little energies you know with all these wands you guys were probably very passionate especially you you were very sexual you you feel it right now sexually frustrated right you horny <laughs> so like yeah it was meant to be it was meant to be all right so you guys are divinely connected you guys are like soulmate twin flames okay and like i said if you want to know what's going to happen you can meet me in the extending you know what I'm, saying? I'm just you know telling you what's up here what's going on all right so let's see what your person wants to say one second i just got something hold on your person feels that you, if you're a parent you're a very good parent um if you're not a parent they feel like you would be a very good parent like you would be a good suited person to have children with yes wow okay that's beautiful what your person wants to say all my life i prayed for someone like you yes hello it's faded like they pray for someone like you because you know what i'm saying like you're exactly what they needed and little do they know they made a contract prior to like to be with you so hello okay i don't feel ready to commit so this person feels like they still need to do some work they still need to do some investigating you know investigation we have seven seven you know so seven 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 you could look that up too look seven 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 so that's a lot of sevens you know this is progress you know seven is like overcoming op obstacles issues so your person may be coming over some obstacles some issues something that really made them feel bad okay but they don't feel ready at this moment but they do feel very strong feelings for you i'm sorry i made you cry so this person may know that they made you cry and they're really sorry about this they didn't mean to hurt your feelings if only you knew how much i do care like this person may not have expressed to you how much they actually genuinely care about you but this person like i said like i said they fall in love with you they're in love with you all right they feel like you're their other half they feel like you guys belong together this is destined okay they feel it they felt it in the past they feel it now and they're just so sorry that they behaved the way they did okay I feel so tied down right now so they feel tied down they feel like they cannot bust a move they feel like something's holding them back um this could be a heartbreak this could be something of that nature but or a person you know like a third party situation or the quarantine you know they're tied down they can't they can't bust a move they can't even come your way even if they wanted to possibly 
so this is really bothering this is probably like what's frustrating your person that they can't see you they can't be with you um yeah and last but not least i took you for granted i took you for granted mm. that's deep um but like pay attention to this if only you knew how much i do care all right this person does care a lot about you they understand they took you for granted they're sorry they made you cry they're not ready completely right now to commit to you but because they feel tied down something's weighing them down like i said it could be another person it could be their their fears you know we'll get into that um in the extended but let's get into the charmies let's see what's up here i feel like spirit's telling me to pull out one more card for you guys i got you i am spirit can i get one more card for pal two can i get one more card you guys actually got an extra card <laughs> to begin with you know what i'm saying i really want you back so this person really does want you back i chose the wrong person all right so like i said this could be a third party situation like they chose the wrong person they chose to deal with the wrong person you know they were weighing it out they wanted to see which way whoa that one flew out they wanted to see which way to go or whatever they chose the wrong person you know chose the wrong person oh damn damn charlie I remember the day I met you like it was just like it just happened you see what I'm saying like about that faded situation when you met like when you guys met it was a big deal I remember the day I met I met you like if it was like if it just yeah oh blah, 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 blah. <laughs> your person can't talk right now sorry I remember the day I met you like if it just happened okay and at the very bottom of the deck I almost called you so many times. Little do you know. Almost called you. Yeah, they're scared of you. Yeah. This person feels you and sees you in their dreams. Beautiful. All right, so we're getting into the Charmies. It's going to get loud, so lower the volume if you need to. And let's get into it. All right? So what are the Charmies for Palto? Charmies for Palto. Oof, my little bow is getting heavier by the day. All right, no more charmies for me. <laughs> I just be throwing the charmies in there. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna start with the cards and then we'll get into the initials. So we got the five of wands. There is a lot of conflict here. There may have been a lot of fights or argument or like friction in the past between you and this person. Um, we got the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so a lot of burdens here for your person or you, however it goes. You know, like a lot of burdens, a lot of energy of like too much to deal with. And then we got the Two of Wands. So your person is definitely taking steps towards a new direction. Like they're choosing a new path because they know that they went down the wrong path, right? We got the Nine of Cups. This person feels like you are a wish fulfillment. Like, you're a wish fulfillment. You're, like, the shit that comes to them. Like, they, they want you. Wow. Before I even get into the initials, I got my, my personal special charming here, which is... I got this from the Dominican Republic. This one's special to me because I bought it in the beach. I'm a, I'm a mermaid, so, you know, I'm always at the beach. But this is, like, a certain crystal. I forget the name of it. But it's, like, a healing crystal, and it's, like, the star. So, like, for me, this means, like, love, returning, healing... You know, like your person is holding on to you and they want to heal. They want love. All right. Now let's get into the initials. So we have J, J as in Julie, J as in um, Jonathan, Jessica, Junior, Justin. All right. And we got two hearts here. So for some of you guys, you guys are definitely twin flames. I could see that there, especially with the falling in love card and the divine connection for sure. All right. We have G, G as in Gary, G as in um, George, G as in Georgia, 
We have H, H as in Henry, H as in Harry, H as in Honey. <laughs> we have P, P as in Paul, P as in Peter, P as in um, Patricia. We have V, V as in Victor, V as in Veronica. Um, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> we have L, L as in Larry, L as in... I don't know. I just got Larry. All right. <laughs> I as an igloo. I as an ice. Ice, baby, ice. We got M. M as in Mary. M as in Mike. M as in Martin. M as in Michelle. M as in Mary. And Monica. We got N. N as in Nancy. N as in Nando. We got G again. G as in good. We got B, B as in boy, B as in Brian, B as in Brighton, B as in Branda, Brandy. Biggie. <laughs> what else we got? We got K, K as in Kevin, K as in Kenny. D, D as in David, D as in Doug. J, J as in Jalissa. O, O as in Oscar, O as in Octopus. A, A as in Anthony, A as in Amanda, A as in... Yeah, that's all I have for the A's. And then we have Y, Y as in Yo-Yo. We got mad initials. We got P, P as in Paul, P as in Peter, B, B as in Brandon, C, C as in Chris, Charles, Christopher, um... Christina, another V as in Victor. All right, is that all for the initials? G, spirit. <laughs> Y'all went in with the initials, whoa. All right, so let's get into the charming. Let's see what we got here. So I see that we got the dinosaur here. So definitely this relationship could be going way back, but you guys definitely knew each other in a different lifetime as well. That's why it just felt so good when y'all met, right? It felt so, so perfect. Because y'all already knew each other. Y'all was already lovers in another lifetime. Now we got the Eiffel Tower here. And this means, you know, Paris love. Love coming your way. Okay. And definitely travels in your in your future. We have the moon with the fairy here. So definitely the spirit is doing things for you guys in the background. Okay. They said make a wish. Manifest. Because it will be successful. We got your back. We got the pentacle symbol here, so definitely money coming your way. We got the perfume bottle here. This person feels like you smell so good, but it's like your pheromones. You guys are attracted to each other's pheromones. Believe in love. Spirit said you better believe in love, right? <laughs> you or your person can have Taurus in your chart, and it says trustworthy. Your person really trusts you, all right? We have Aries. You can have this or your person in their chart. And it says here, curious. So you guys are courteous or whatever, you know? Huh? Beautiful. Ew. So we got the little birdie here. So definitely bird is on, bird. Love is on its way. Guys, let me sip some tea over here. Okay. All right. We got the anchor. So definitely the need to like stop, chill, relax. Okay. We have the bat here. So you guys may be hiding your feelings for this person, but this person is definitely hiding their feelings for you. Okay, it's time to like show those feelings. Show the feelings. Show what you feel, okay? Always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. Aww. Live, laugh, love. So you may have this in your house. They may have this in their house. Live, laugh, love. All right? So listen, we got the bunny. There's a lot of sexual frustrations here, okay? Lots of sexual frustrations. You guys are definitely soulmates. Could definitely be twin flames, okay? There's a need for you to believe in this connection. This person feels like this connection will be forever. Like, it's never going to end like your mind's forever and it's here twice 
So they know you're not going nowhere, okay? You are enough, okay? Just know that you are enough. If you doubted your if you doubted if you were enough, they're saying you're enough for me. Trust me. All right, we got the little feather here. So definitely something lucky is about to happen for you. She believes she she believes she could, so she did. If you believe in yourself, you can make anything happen, okay? Your person says, I love you. I love you. You guys may be unfolding right now, definitely like developing more spiritual gifts or just tapping in a little bit more now. We have the rose here. So for me, this is always like an unfolding situation. So this situation here may be unfolding and the cards will be on the table very soon. We have the star here. So the divine is definitely granting your wishes in the background. All right. Yeah, the butterfly. You guys are ascending to a new level of in your life you guys are blossoming all right we got the key here so you guys definitely have the key to this person's heart we got the eiffel tower twice so definitely twin flames for some of you guys but this is like love coming your way okay dream i dare you to dream because whatever you want will come true you guys could be ma master manifestors okay we have the <laughs> this came out in part one too it's so interesting it hasn't come on a long time and it comes out today when the, the no contact all right so definitely you guys are very beautiful but your person is scared to touch you right now they feel like you will prick their ass all right <laughs> they want to touch you but they're scared they all here thirsty and you're the only thing that has the you're the only one with the juice but they, they they're afraid to like even touch you because they feel like you're gonna hurt them a sister brother is someone to dream, cry, sing, laugh with, okay? So you have a sibling that you could trust, then talk to them about the situation so you could, you know, feel a little better. Live your dream. Don't live nobody else's dream. Live your dream because this is your world and everybody else just lives in it, okay? Ew. All right, pal, so that was all. Please like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. I live for the tea. Remember that, all right? I'm so thankful for everyone that has been doing this. You guys are amazing. I love y'all. Um, And also, if you want to meet me in the extended, I'll see you there. Link in the description down below. What's to be expected from this situation? All right, bye, guys. Hey, pal, three. What's up with you? Ew. We on to your reading. You guys chose this beautiful red pink heart that's just like wow. It's one of my new babies. All right, so let's see. So we're gonna get into like what you feel, what they feel, what's crowning the reading, the past, the present, the future, how you're coming off towards this person, how they coming off towards you, and um and the energies around it. All right if you want to know more about this i will be doing it i will be having an extended reading you can find that down below in the description all right i get into what to what to expect from this situation oh beautiful and at the end of the reading i am going to do messages and charmies okay so First off, first off, you and your person could definitely be a cancer, all right? I'm just throwing it out there. I'm throwing it out there, all right? So, <laughs> let's see. All right, so your energy, my pal three. You're very grounded right now. We got the king of pentacles. Whoa, your person's throat chakra is like blocked. All right, anyway, we got the king of pentacles for you guys, pal three, all right? So you're definitely very grounded. You're probably focusing on your coins right now, how you could be successful in what you're doing. And you know what you want. You're very grounded right now. How your person feels, they feel like the moon. They feel like they don't know. I don't know what to do. They're very confused. There's like a lot of illusions. Um, Their emotions are kind of scattered. There's things that you don't even see in your person that's going on right now. They're uncertain about what they want to do. That's how they feel. How they're coming towards you. The three of Pentac the three of wands in reverse. So there's a lot of delays for them coming towards you, all right? They feel like there's a lot of setbacks. That's why they're not coming towards your way, all right? And how you're coming towards your person is that the ten of wands in reverse. 
this situation may have been heavy for you, my pal three, and you feel like you need to like take a break, all right? It's time to take a break. It's time to like free up the load, lighten up the load. Like that's how you're feeling, all right? Now in the past, you guys may have argued a lot or you may have had like, there was like a hidden agenda in the past. I see that. You guys may have argued about this situation. Um, There may have been some deceit in the past, unfair dealings, okay? In the present, we have the page of swords in reverse. There may be a lot of chaos. Like, the energy is high, you know what I mean? Like, um, you may be feeling unlucky. Like, this is an issue. This is not going the way you need it to go. You're, like, a little bit pissed about it, all right? And in the future, we have the chariot in reverse. It's like an energy of, I don't know which way to go. You're gonna, you guys both are gonna be feeling like giving up on this situation. Like, there may be like a big distance between you guys, or you guys just can't travel towards each other right now. But overall, in this connection, um, crowning is the four of wands in reverse. So, there is gonna be, there is, there has been arguments, there will be arguments, you know. Um, someone's gonna be leaving their home. There's someone's moving out from their home in this scenario. Um, yeah, and that's what I see. Like I said, if you want to know more about this, you want more information, we'll get into that. But I want to see what... I want to see why in the future the chariot is in reverse. Why? Spirit, why is the chariot in reverse in the future? Why is the cherry in reverse in the future? Okay. Why is the six of pentacles here? Your person is going to feel like... Yeah, because there's, there's going to be stress in the future because of this breakup. All right. So in the future, your person is going to want to give back to you. They're going to be very stressed about this, like a little bit scared, not knowing which way to go. In regards to this breakup, your person is feels very weak. They don't know what to do. They're scared. They feel very scared, all right? This person is dealing with a lot of inner wounds. This could be wounds from their childhood, mommy, daddy issues. Um, But what Spirit is saying here is that they will make an effort, all right? Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this person does have feelings for you. You know, um, you may know, for some of you guys, you may know this person for a while. You may know them for like a couple of years now or even from your childhood, but there's a need to make an effort. So your person will be making an effort. It's just like some trials and tribulations to get there. Um, there may be kids involved here, either your person or you that may have kids and this could be a factor in your relationship, but you and your loved ones are safe, just so you know. Um... Spirit is saying here, release the dark wound, let love live. So your person is, like I said, they're healing, they're releasing their demons, they're releasing their inner wounds, they're like releasing what whatever happened to them in the past, letting go of that energy, because they want to come into this new energy with you. They want to live, they want to let, they want love to live within them, because right now it's really dark, okay? And then we have the right way here, learning to create what you desire. So this person may have been a frog in the few, in the past. You know what I'm saying? Like this person lacks communication. You know, they they're very they're like shape shifters. Like they could they do very well in water and land, you know what I mean? So this person could do very well in different scenarios and like really like switch it up easily, but they know with you it doesn't work. You know, they got to put that crown on. They can't fake it till they make it when it comes to you. And they're realizing this. So they're learning right now what to do in order to get you back. Because they do desire you. All right? They're building their courage to come your way. There's a, It says sister here, sisterhood here. So like friends, allies, compatible souls, loyalty, joy, delight. So they do feel like they have some type of soul connection to you. But they are depending on their friends and their allies right now especially for advice when it comes to the situation what happened in the past what was the chaos about spirit why is the five of swords here i'm just curious what happened in the past there was a lot of chaos in regards to you guys pal three 
Like, this person didn't know what to do with you. There was a lot of hidden agendas when it came to um, dealing with you. They weren't true. They weren't honest um, about their feelings, about what they really thought about you. They thought you were warm, kind, sweet, very natural in nature. And they, they know that you deserve um, to be put in a pedestal, you know, so they weren't able to offer you that. So that's the, like, the hidden agenda. They didn't offer you what they knew you deserved. Why is the page of swords here, Spirit? Why is the page of swords here, Spirit? Okay. So, like, they're, they're feeling right now, like, really upset and bothered while the high priestess, you guys are the high priestess. So, they're feeling, like, very angry and upset right now because they're not speaking to you. And they want to speak to you because you are a wish fulfillment to them. You are what a, you are exactly what they wish for. And because they, they're trying to, like, build up this courage, they're, they're trying to figure out knowledge, they're really going within. Like, they really need the courage. This person is very shy. But, um, you're their wish fulfillment. That's why they're mad. They're pissed they don't have you. All right, let's see what your person wants to say, and then we'll go into the charmings. Please do not fight me. So, like I said, this person may have did something in the past that really bugged you out, that really made you feel down and out, and that's why they're scared you're going to fight them. You are my kryptonite. So, this person definitely feels like you are their weakness, okay? You're their weakness, you're their kryptonite. When they, when they get near you, like I said, they're able to, like, they're able to, like, shape shift. Like, they're able to, like, change into multiple different people, multiple different um characters, you know? Like, they're very good at that. They're very good at getting what they want. But when it comes to you, Pal 3, like, they can't. You know, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, they know they got to put that crown on when it comes to you. They can't just bullshit their way around you. Because they know you're, you've you picked up on it. You, you're like, oh, I'm not with that. So they're trying to figure out and find the courage to like come back to you. I'm fighting my feelings for you. So like I said, this person definitely feels strong feelings for you. You are their wish fulfillment. But, you know, they're trying to fight it so bad. Like, even though I feel so much pain. They feel so much pain being apart from you. But they're fighting their feelings. They don't know what to do. They don't want you to fight them because they know they've been foul. You are a star in my eyes. Aww. So they feel like you're a star, all right? They definitely do feel like you're a star in their eyes. That is so beautiful. All right, so let's get into the charmies. And then um, and then we'll get into the extended for whoever wants to follow me there, all right? So this gets loud. So if you want to, please lower your volume now. Um, just warning you. Spirit and ancestors, guys. Well, that just flew out. Initial C, Charles, Chrissy, Christopher, Chris. Um, and initial U, unicorn, just flew out. Alright. guys. What is the message for Paltry? What is the message for Paltry? All right, we have the letter R too. So the letter R, Robert, Ronald, Richard, Robinson, um, um, oh, we have the letter O here too. So Oscar, October. All right, so let's get into the, let's get into, let me see, did we get any cards? Oh, we didn't get any cards. All right, so we're gonna get into the initials right away. We have a lot. We have O as an Oscar again. We have L as in um, Louis, Larry, Louisa, um, Lindell. I don't know where that came from. Um, Linda. <laughs> How do I say Linda? How can I not use that one? N as in Nancy. N as in Nando. I as in Igloo. I as in Ice. Ice, baby, Ice. V, V as in Victor, V as in um, Veronica, V as in Valerio. We have another V here. V, 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 V. We have B, B 
be as in boy be as in brandon be as in barry be as in um brown we have another b b as in Brittany. we have i i as in elise we have k k as in kevin k as in kenny k as in we have two k's k as in kevin kenny um kathleen um we have o another o another o as in oscar we have z z as in zebra we have c c as in christopher chris charles catherine cern where that came from cern um Charles, I said that. Chrissy, okay? And um, now let's get into the Charmies. We have two, well, we have so many keys here. Like, it's ridiculous, all right? So you definitely have the key to this person's heart, for sure. You, you're about to open up so many doors, it's scary, all right? We got four keys here. I think one of my keys fell. We got four keys here. You guys are about to be opening up some doors. Wow, we got two dinosaurs. This could definitely be like, um, you see, we got two dinosaurs. This could definitely be like a twin flame connection. I already said it from the beginning, and this is like clarifying. You guys go way back. You may have a, um, a past life experience with this person. Like, you guys may have loved each other in another life as well. We have love here love all right so there's definitely love this situation was made with love right now you feel like your heart is halfway filled you're not happy you're not content all right but it's coming all right right now you may be in your head a lot about this situation a lot about this person you need to stop that communicate with your person if you need to but do not be in your head that's stress this person is definitely part of your soul tree your soul family that's why they felt so good and right. All right, so we have here the, the rabbit. So this person is very, very sexually attracted to you and would like to see you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Something significant is gonna happen for you guys in the fall. We have the deer. So there's a need for patience, baby, patience. You guys are warriors, okay? Don't ever doubt that. You're blessed. You're very, very blessed. If you didn't think so, you are. There's a need for you to dream. Dream big, because big things are coming. Strong is beautiful. And we got it twice. Like, you guys are getting, like, doubles, like, twin flame vibes. Oh, my God, we even got the blue flower twice. Like, I'm done with you guys, all right? We got choose strength. So choose to be strong. Don't choose weakness. You and your person are definitely blossoming out here in these streets, okay? Your emotions are growing and they're blossoming. This is a faded connection. Like, God is here. God is here, okay? We have here... Namaste. So this is definitely like namaste you know what i mean peace grounded the divine the divine is here like this is real all right inspire you inspire this person to be better grace there's a need for you to have some type of grace right now all right cupid is out here throwing his bows and he got y'all he got y'all he was like bling, bling, bling. yup he got y'all that's why y'all over here are heartbroken and in love. <laughs> but it was meant to be. You guys are meant to deal with each other, okay? We have health, happiness, and treasure. So, like, your health will be growing. You guys will be happier. And there's some treasure coming your way. Love is coming your way. We got the little birdie. We have a little dolphin here, too. So, you guys have some luck coming your way for sure, Okay? And this person wants to come for you pretty fast. Like, they want to fly. They want to fly your way. Like, that's how they feel. We have the feathers. So, something very fortunate is about to happen for you. Something blessed. Something great. The divine is here. They're protecting this relationship. The angels are protecting you guys. Okay? Love is definitely on its way. This is love. If you thought it was anything else, well, confirmation here. The divine is here. 
All right, the divine is here. They're really here. Look at this. They're like, we present. We holding this relationship down. Love is coming. Wow. Believe in love. Like, these are just strong messages. Like, damn, y'all didn't believe in this connection, this love. Well, spirit is throwing it in your face. Like, whoa. All right, this person definitely finds you very attractive and they're sexually frustrated. All right? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You made me happy when you're around. <laughs> we have another key. You guys are opening up so many damn doors. I don't know what y'all about to do. I don't know what, what y'all been manifesting, but y'all opening doors. You or your person could have Leo in your chart. They feel that you're very generous, okay? That's beautiful. Give a girl the right shoes. Oh my god. Give a girl the right shoes and she could conquer the world. Marilyn Monroe. Ew. I love it, Pal 3. Alright, so please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. I live for the tea. And if you want to meet me for the extended, you're more than welcome to. The link is down below. Either way, stay blessed, guys. Bye. <laughs>